everyone, it's Lindsay from The Daily Lindsay. Welcome to my channel. I wasn't planning to film today, but the mailman came by and dropped off this little butte over here. So I thought I would film an unboxing video to share what's in my July glossy box. This is my final glossy box. I've received six boxes each month since, I think... February, right? And I do have to say I've been enjoying it, but there's a whole big but <laughs> at the end of this video and I will reserve my overall general thoughts about the subscription service till the end of the video. So opening up the glossy box, it's the standard glossy box this month. No special box. There we go, we've got the pretty bow and the standard information card, which I will set aside for now so we can both be surprised as we open up this box and undo the ribbon and rip open the tissue paper. And okay, I'm seeing some major products in here, so let's see what we've got. First item is this detan detan detangling toning mist. It says pH restorative with apple cider vinegar from Philip B. I've never heard of this brand before. So I'm guessing that if it has apple cider vinegar, it's really going to have a very distinct smell. And I'm going to try and open this without ruining my mani. <laughs> I just did it yesterday. Oh, well, it's not too much of a distinct smell. Yeah, this will be interesting to try out if I get to it. <laughs> Oh, interesting. This is cool. Um, there is a Glam Glow Youth Mud Tingle Exfoliate Treatment. This is a nice, decent size, um, decent size sample? Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. Ooh! Um, I'm kind of curious how the product compares to the mini one that I picked up from Sephora. I will grab that and check in. Hold on one sec. Okay, I'm back with the Glam Glow um, product that I purchased on my own during the Sephora VIB sale a few months ago. And it's actually the same amount of product because this is 0.5 fluid ounces and this is 0.5 fluid ounces. So this would probably go for 20 bucks at Sephora. But the only thing is, see how this is an actual pot? So when you apply the mask, there are um, like actual twigs and leaves and like real nature-y, <laughs> um, I don't want to call them debris, but nature-y like pieces inside. And with this one, because it's a tube, I don't know if how that would work. Yeah, so you're not going to get that true authentic like mask experience with the little pieces of leaves and twigs and stuff on your face because that the two won't fit through the little squeezy tube. Anyway, I'm really glad that I did receive this just because it's a pretty generous portion and I was thinking, I was really considering buying another another um, product like this in the same size because I just, even though it's like 20 bucks, I still can't bring myself to buy the $68 version. That's just too steep for me. So next item I'm seeing here is the Skin Ink Custom Blended Anti-Aging Serum. Comes in this small little package and it says tackle the signs of aging with this custom blend of coenzyme Q10, marine collagen, and hyaluronic acid formulated with Skin Ink's patented encapsulation technology. Blah 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 blah. So it gives long-lasting hydration in your skin, basically, and promotes the youthful elasticity and suppleness of your skin. Um, apply three drops twice daily before putting on your moisturizer. I've never had anything from Skin Ink. Ooh, it's got fancy little beads inside it. It'll be fun to try this out. I, this is definitely something up my alley. Next item I see here, ooh, is the, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I think it's Malin and Goats, or Malin and Goets, not quite sure, but it's called the Mojito Lip Balm. Oh, I bet you this tastes yummy. And I've never tried anything from Malin and Goats. I know that they're a very high-end brand, um, but just, I'm not really well informed about their products. I've never bought anything from them. Hmm, 
smells minty kind of actually and it says daily protection soothing treatment fatty acid absorption technology so this will be great to try I will actually try this out so cool cool beans does anyone ever say that still cool beans that used to be a thing when I was in middle school okay so next item here is called Mitchell and Peach English growers body cream so it's I guess a lotion it contains honey, organic cocoa, and shea butter. Fragranced with essential oils from the Mitchell's fifth generation farm in Kent, England. Free from parabens, SLS, and synthetic coloring. And yeah, that smells very... Yeah, it's a body lotion. It's kind of runny for a cream, actually, but... This will go in with the other products I haven't used yet from a um, glossy box. So this box concludes my glossy box experience. It's been a fun six months doing these unboxing videos for you guys and it's testing out some of these products. I've got to be honest, I haven't used all of the products that I've gotten just because, I mean I put them out but I just never cracked them open or just didn't really feel drawn to use them actually and I'll show you. This is the box that has been accumulating products that I just haven't used unfortunately and I feel like that's kind of a waste. I mean I feel like eventually I'll get to them but a lot of these were brands that I'd never heard of. I wasn't really into the packaging kind of feels a little bit like a waste, but I feel like I'll get through them eventually. It's just when you receive five samples on top of what you're already buying um, during the month and your existing, you know, beauty collection, it just, there's no, not enough time in the day to, to get through all of them. So I kind of feel that it's a little bit wasteful, but it was a fun experience and a great one to pick for my first uh, beauty subscription box. They were $20 a box, which is pretty pricey, but I do have to say I am pretty pleased with the um, brands that I've seen and the six months of boxes that I've received. And uh, the only thing I didn't quite like was the delivery of them. They were really inconsistent. Some of them would come at the beginning of the month, others would come at the end of the month, one month I got two boxes because like May and June, like I didn't get one throughout the month of May and then when I received June, May's box came the day after that and I don't know if I, um, I don't think I even <laughs> filmed an unboxing video of that just because I had just posted um, June's video and I was like, oh, I'm not going to post May's the day after, that's just too much unboxing. So yeah, delivery service was inconsistent, but I do have to say the way they packaged it, none of the items came broken. Um, they do really take good care um, to package it well so that when it's delivered to you, it comes looking pretty and nothing's broken. And yeah, I really enjoyed that aspect of it. If you wanna see any of my previous unboxings, I will list them below. I hope you guys found this video helpful and informative. Now that I've used up my Glossy Box subscription, now I'm thinking, you know, what am I going to try next? I'm considering the Beauty Test Tube and um, definitely not Ipsy because I feel like everyone does Ipsy. I want to be a little bit different. So if you guys have any suggestions with any, um, you know, unique uh, subscription boxes that you have come across, definitely let me know in the comments and I will check those out. That's it. If you want to talk outside of YouTube, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at The Daily Lindsay. You can also hang out with me in the comments. That would be awesome. And yeah, I will, get, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.